heart of Manhattan with my lovely incredible co casting close island. And it seems like uh, we're actually going to be jumping into the set already. Yep, coming in hot with Vivi versus Skeet. Skeet we saw on stream a couple of times already tonight, I believe. And of course, Vivi, a Xeno mainstay, already coming in with the hero. So the hero for the Kazuya matchup for Vivi, I think I absolutely agree with this over, say, Vivi's Lucario. You know, Kazuya being one of those characters that can really destroy stocks, not particularly conducive when it comes to getting aura. Yeah, but right now Vivi has just played keep away for so long, already putting on 72, he's setting up a bit of a juggle as well, using up the neutrally, but now EWGF doesn't actually get the spike hitbox. I'm not really sure what that angle was, but just keeps on trying to dash into now. Vivi, of course, just has so much experience playing Dark Blues, just like really knows like the threat zones to really keep out of it. He's just been avoiding a lot of the big hits. Absolutely, and I mean, that's such a huge thing when it comes to fighting Kazuya is being able to stay out of his threat range. Of course, Vivi going to be able to use those sword hitboxes, those side Vs especially, has the projectile game, and we also saw Vivi did start off the game with Accelerottle, which is also yeah. going to be huge in this matchup. Yeah, Flushing, but now just once again, just keeping up all this platform pressure, Kaboom on shield, such a nasty place to be in. Now Skeet going to be off stage, I believe, with no double jump, if I'm not mistaken. Up, he's back on, nice and safe, still going to be stuck at the ledge, but I just feel like the entire time, Skeet has just been successfully kept away. Vivi has just not been able to get, like, anything big started. Uh, oh, excuse me, Skeet has not been able to get anything big started. Vivi was keeping him away uh, this whole time. Yep, oh, gets the side B, but no crumple hitbox. Does get the electric. Not able to find anything after it, though. Only 84% on Vivi. Just keeps swinging with that dragon mm -hmm. uppercut. Yeah, Vivi somehow just keeps on avoiding all, like, the soft spike hitboxes and is just, like, able to get out of those situations really soon. Now still going to be on his full stock at 110%. Skeet has just not been able to get in there consistently. Like, you mentioned, like, with Accelerattle, he's just able to jump all over the place and make it difficult for him to get in. Absolutely. And I think we can see Skeet maybe starting to get a little antsy for this kill, finally getting the electric yep. to the upbeat. But in that last scenario when Skeet was at the ledge, you know, he was just throwing out all sorts of buttons trying mm -hmm. to find that kill. And Vivi finding a lot out of the menu right now. 54% from one back air, just just hero things. I mean, Vivi's doing exactly what he has, like he's not playing on the ground, because look what happens when he does. Actually able to get the shield out in time. Skeet just not pressing uh, his button soon enough. Gonna be off stage. Once again, just getting shot by the F-Tilt. I love the beauty of his neutral B. That was a really good idea, similar to how Mewtwo's Another used that. Another Kaboom. And that's two Kaboom Th kills. I think that was three. Is I that think that was three? three for three. Oh my goodness. Wow. Just like those three slimes. <laughs> yeah, um... I've got, to, I've got to say, so Skeet, I feel like, I mean, has just been getting so many really good results lately, especially like on oh, Long absolutely. Island, um, just consistently. But VV, I think maybe out of all of the people that even go here, he goes to waypoints consistently, right? He's at Xeno all the time. He has so much experience fighting Dark Blues, who's maybe, you know, the most prominent uh, cause here, I would like to say, oh, like, if not the greater tri state, right? Mm -hmm. So. You could just see it like in his neutral. He was keeping away at the best possible points. Skeet was just not able to get in really cleanly. He was not able to actually get close enough to Vivi. And he was also jumping a lot, right? Es especially with Excello Battle. Oh, yeah. Camping in a lot of places. Because what's Kazi gonna do with his jump callouts? He doesn't have no. a lot. No, with his like, what, seven frame jump squat? Yeah. Yeah, no, Kazi is not catching you in the air unless it's a hard, hard call out. Mm -hmm. All right, looking for a two frame there with the flame slash. Vivi's still at 0% right now. Skeet just not finding his way in right now. Vivi's just playing so confidently right now, still at 0%, just throwing out all the possible hitboxes. Skeet has not been able to find a clean opening, just rolling in really, really unsafe ways. Gonna be grabbed, down throw, maybe an air dodge read uh, for you to like the idea, but not gonna be able to find it. Yep. All right, Vivi just able to roll out of the corner too. Skeet not able to set up any pressure. Even there with Vivi at the ledge, coming down with a Kazap, Skeet forced to reset to neutral. And that is another rage off. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I, I, I like respect it. Skeet. Skeet went for it. He was like, you know what? You either gotta like air dodge or maybe press a button on the way down. Luckily though, Vivi just keeping himself so safe. Up tilt, not gonna be able to kill Kazuya. Just such a heavy boy. Backing off and that's there gonna be the is. whack. Yeah, 170 more than enough to do it. Mm -hmm. All right, but this could be a kill for Skeet right now. No, no rage on board for Skeet. So Vivi's gonna be living uh, again. Floor tilt, still not doing it off the side right there. Yeah. And Vivi gets the zoom. 
Yeah, back on the stage, and again, you just see like these constant choice hops back now. I feel like at this point, Skeet needs to go for like a lot more like dash and shields. He's releasing them a little bit too soon. Like he dash shield, released it, immediately got hit by side B. That time though, he was finally able to clean up the stock. So, you know, keeping it a little bit closer to this game, but overall just Vivi is moving around him. Jumping in, fading back. He's just moving. Absolutely. Oh, gets the crumble hit. Let's see if Skeet can make some magic happen. Gets the 66. Not able to find anything after the electric yeah. though. But I mean, 66, that's good damage. And you're already getting BB to these orange, you know, kill percents. Looking for the trip right there. See if Skeet can finish this ledge trap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I felt like we were going to see a down B at that Great. point. Phenomenal tech. Keeping himself alive. That's going to be the electric shield pushback. And now the game has basically evened itself up. All it took was that one combo and a couple of hits in advantage state. He's ledge trapping Vivi, but pressed that F tilt a little bit too soon. Vivi got back on it. Whoa! Uh, what? Skeet, Skeet just came in running with the rage. And, you know, he did lose his stock for it, but he was able to get the stock. Yeah, so, that was that was that was something. But I mean, for such a VV momentum game so far, Skeet has been able to bring it back to even and getting a lead right now, 51% on VV, but VV bringing it, you know, keeping things competitive. Yeah. I really love the way, I don't know if Skeet has been looking at Vivi's menus, but he actually held over uh, Kaboom right there to force Skeet to come up with a shield, and instead Vivi was able to just get Accelerado for free. I mean, in general, a lot of people like respond to menu with like shield, right? That's like the immediate option, oh, especially absolutely. to avoid like Flame Slash. So just in general, that's like such a solid option. But now, okay, gonna be looking for the landing back here at this point. Skeet just can't find this opening, but that could be oh, so huge. Oh, no. the electric. Oh, just throwing the dragon uppercut out. But honestly, that kill might have been a little bit committal. Skeet was close enough to get a big hit out of it. Mm -hmm. But oh, quickly going to be exchanging the positions. Now it's going to be Skeet that is getting ledge trapped. What are you doing? No! Ah! Oh. So unfortunate for Skeet right there. Man, <laughs> that was Skeet's game too. Skeet like had everything going for them. Then they got stuck in a corner. Mm -hmm. That was just, that was just fear, you know? Yeah. Because it's like, damn, what am I gonna do? Go all the way at this point? I don't know if I have enough <laughs> time. The, oh, he was standing. I thought Skeet was like forward concentrating on a mash, but no, yeah. he's... No, there's nothing you can do. You just no. put down your controller at that point. GG's on to the next set. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, overall, I think, you know, Skeet definitely came alive a little bit more than game two, but ultimately, Vivi just played keep away a lot. Vivi mm -hmm. just spaced himself really accordingly around Skeet. Um, and was just like constantly just outside of the mid range. We saw especially like the jump ins, the immediate fade backs, the jump ins, the wave bounces as well. Like VV just made himself untouchable. And if you're not like, you know, getting hit by any of like Kazuya's grounded options, uh, you've effectively invalidated the thing that makes him Kazuya. Yeah. His stupid damage output, out that ridiculous. Yeah, and I think it, it does come back to what you were saying before about, you know, VV being this super evasive player. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like Skeet was, he was swinging a little bit too hard, especially yeah. we saw in that last kill. Skeet just kind of ran in really apropos of nothing and just threw out the rage and then scared himself into shield. Yeah.